of ACDC and Angus Young continues talking about what I think is one of the most underrated ACDC riffs beating around the bush going back to that Bon Scott era of ACDC and the riff's pretty dang tough and I think it doesn't really sound like an ACDC riff so maybe that's why it's a little bit underrated. Now before we get into all that because there are some tricks I want to show you to make that riff even easier I do have a new Angus Young inspired guitar course out Legends Unlocked Angus Young edition that's linked down below in the description you can actually pre-order it right now at 55% off so if you want to snag that you can and also we're giving away an SG so you can totally get your Angus on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get to the lesson. All right, so to kick things off here, it's basically just your blues E minor scale. But obviously played super fast and super rock and roll. So right, right off the bat, I had the hardest time playing this riff. And I'll tell you the secret, it's the picking. <laughs> Do not pick it the way you probably normally do. A lot of people like to start on the down. And you really, at least for me, and what it looks like Angus is doing as well, because there's only one live video of them playing this, it looks like he starts with an up pick. And what that does is it sets your hand up just for a much, much more enjoyable pick in time. Because if you start on a down, your hand is moving in the wrong direction a lot. So let's kind of kick it off. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to go open three on the low E string. Okay, right there. Now I start with an up, like I said. So up, down. Now next you're going to go to open A string, first fret, and I'm hammering on to second fret. So not everything is picked, not everything is hammered on and pulled off. It's kind of this uh, combination of the two. And then it's an open D string. Okay, that's kind of how the, the whole riff starts, and it's pretty much the main riff. The rest of the song is pretty simple, but this first part is tough. Now try to get that. Remember, it's pick with an up, so up, down, up, down, hammer. Now try doing that starting with a down pick. What happens is your hand moves in the wrong direction. And what I mean by that is you start with a down, then you go up. Look what direction my hand is moving. It's moving up this way. Oh, but I need to go down to that string. So what happens is your hand gets this real jumpy, like jerky motion to it. And oh, it's it's so hard to do. You've got to start with an up. There's a few riffs like this. Um, Cowboys, Cowboys from Hell was always one. You know that riff. I always need to start with an up. It just made everything flow. And certainly when you're playing something as fast as this. You don't want to have to sit there and fight the direction you're playing. Now, once you get to that top part, because he does that twice, then he just kicks into high gear. You know, it's, it's just walking down the exact way that you just walked up. Now, after that open D, you're going to go 2 1 on the A and pull off to open. Now, Angus might be doing more pull offs here. It's hard to hear on the recording. Another thing you got to watch out for in the recording is, of course, the tuning. I'm tuned to standard. A lot of that early ACDC stuff is tuned really, really funky. So you got to tune to the song, not just to your normal tuner. Now, when I get to the low E string, I like to pick everything here. Okay, and because it, it, it sounds aggressive on the track, you know, I think they're picking it all. Now, that's three open, three open on the low E string. Then another open, and then it's just kind of the bottom part of your E minor chord. Now, the tricky part here is that instinctually my hand wants to end with an up right there because of the pattern. Right there. On the live one, it definitely looks like Angus is ending with a down pick. So he might be doing like a double down there, but it just depends on how picky you want to be on the riff. You know, it looks like he get, he ends on a down for sure. So all together, nice and slow, you have this. Now, 
the second time around, it's basically the exact same thing. Except you don't do the double three open. You just do it once, right into the bottom part of that chord. Sometimes it sounds like Angus. It's just that E note on the D string, so. Part of the, the tricky part here also is the palm muting. You know, it starts out very open. And it sounds like when the riff really kicks in, and it's probably because Malcolm is joining in as well. So some of the notes have just that little tiny bit of mute on them. And then E chord. <laughs> it's hard to sit still while you play that. Um, that part's pretty simple. We're not going to cover that. The rest of the song is actually very simple. It's just that intro part. It's tough. It doesn't really sound like an ACDC riff to me. It's real, real I mean, kind of technical. So not your typical ACDC thing, but I think it's pretty cool. All right, guys, other than that, let me know what other ACDC riffs you would like to see. We got a big old ACDC solo coming up for you here as well. Make sure you check out the course if you would. That is on pre-sale this week. You can snag it for the 55% off. Uh, that's all linked down below in the description. SG giveaway is still going on. And yo, I'll see you all in the next video. Later, homies, end it bluesy, ACDC style.